Okay, so it is Saturday, February 17th. And I know I said that I was going to do a follow-up video for my Valentine's, but I was busy. I was trading, you know what I'm saying, trying to be the best version of myself and just celebrating Valentine's Day. But anyway, I'm back with my daily rant. Did y'all miss me? You better have. But I told y'all, I was like, listen, I'm going to be addressing something that I think really affects my demographic, my people, my women, and we're going to address it right. Okay, so, you know, I talked about before how, you know, single women, you know, they have these misconstrued thoughts on relationships or, you know, in order to attract the man that you want, you need to be the happiest version of yourself, right? And so I said that, you know, for me to tell y'all, it's just like blah, but for me to actually really like sit down with y'all and have that conversation and what you need to do and how you can do certain things to be the happiest version of yourself, then that's what I'm gonna do. And so I decided to really take the time to really discuss some things that I've done and that I know women to do that where they can be the happiest version of themselves. So this is like a rant because you know I'm gonna throw some little shade in there and address certain things, but it's also a helpful video, right? So listen, now... I know a lot of women might go against me. I know a lot of women that watch this. You know, you may be overweight. You may have health issues or whatever, right? But let me tell you something. I know this for a fact because I have been extremely plus size. And then I have been in shape. And then I gained weight, a little thick or whatever, right? And I'm going to tell you this, sis. If you lose that weight, if you really get your ass in the gym, if you really stop eating that McDonald's, eating that church's chicken, that fried chicken, them weendings, that pork chops, that bacon, that grilled chicken salad, while you think you're eating healthy with a bunch of ranch, if you really, like, did some things to help you lose weight, if you really remove those toxic foods from your diet... And you start working on, like, your physique. You start working out. Your skin looking better. You feeling better. You're going to start being happier. But, you know, they like to say, like, oh, she, you know what I'm saying, fat, fat black women be unhappy. Well, a lot of times it's because the foods that they eat have unhappy hormones. It's a lot of chemicals. It's a lot of toxins. So they really don't have a choice but to be unhappy because they're eating foods that's lowering their vibrational frequency. They're eating foods that's adding chemicals and toxins into their body. And just think, if you got a, a, a body full of toxins, full of chemicals, because all you're doing is eating bad foods, drinking, you know, liquor, not detoxing, not drinking enough water, not working out so that you can get those. Because really, when you work out, you it, you release happy hormones. I know this for a fact, right? So, because when I don't work out, like, I can slip into depression. You know what I'm saying? So, it's very vital for me to walk. It's very vital for me to do certain things. Because if I don't, I know it affects my mental. But I'm going to say this. If you really want to be you know, start on your journey of being the happiest version of yourself, start decreasing some of those chemical foods. Start decreasing those foods that's clogging your arteries, those fried foods, those heavy foods. Start eating foods that bring life to you. Eat fruits, eat vegetables. Like when I have a smoothie, when I'm eating fruits and vegetables, oh, I'm happy. I'm on my big one. I feel motivated. I feel, you know, like my mindset is 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 like we can manifest whatever because a lot of times you can't manifest what you want you can't manifest the life you want because you're not mentally there and you're not mentally there because you're eating foods that's keeping you bogged down that's keeping you stressed that's keeping you feeling heavy and if if you're not working out you know you're not releasing that stress don't think that drinking smoking and having sex is the only way to release sex I mean, release stress. Actually, working out, meditating, praying, journaling, eating healthy foods is one of the best and healthiest ways to relieve stress. Go for a walk in the park. Go walk barefoot in the park. I know y'all be like, I ain't walking no barefoot in the park. They was doing that before in Jesus' time. So what make you so different? You know what I'm saying? And they was doing it for a reason. You really need to research why people do grounding and why people walk barefoot. But it starts with the food. You know what I'm saying? I, I know since it's going to be a, 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 a series, I'm not going to really just like go into every single thing in one video. I'm going to talk one by one. But for real, like 
being overweight is a surefire way to keep you unhappy. Eating toxic food, stop, look, stop watching Sweetie over here eating all this toxic foods and thinking, oh, that's cute. That's not cute. It's not cute. Stop because you see such and such going to a restaurant. You want to go to the restaurant and go eat some toxic foods. It's not cute. I mean, to, to be honest, I feel like, hold on one second. To be honest, I fought like these people like Candy, her restaurant, like all of these, you know what I'm saying, Rick Ross wing stops. I feel like they do a disservice to our community. Yeah, they showing you, yeah, because a lot of people want to go, I want to go eat at Wingstop. I want to go eat at Candy's restaurant. Y'all just going to make her richer, and you're being more and more put down in a hole. And I really feel like, you know, I'm not really like a Kevin Hart like me. Like, I used to like Kevin Hart back in the day, but I don't really listen to his stuff now and really follow his career. But I was so happy when he created... Well, when he opened up the vegan restaurant, like we need more celebrities to really push a healthy food narrative. All of these celebrities, what they want to open up low vibrational food places so they can get your money so they can keep you low vibrational so you can stay in the fan mindset. You can stay in the mindset that they bigger than you and you smaller because of what they got. And they just making money off of you and keeping you in an unhealthy state, keeping you in a, in a low vibrational state and keeping your body bogged down with toxins. So you need to side eye these celebrities that's pushing for you to eat unhealthy foods and really look at those like Wu-Tang, they doing stuff with vegan stuff. Snoop doing stuff with vegan stuff. It's a lot of other celebrities that's doing stuff with vegan stuff. You know what I'm saying? You need to be gravitating towards that. It's not gravitating to this low vibrational food. These celebrities, they got these low vibrational restaurants. The same way that y'all should be standing around the corner. The same way that y'all waiting hours to go eat a candy restaurant. Y'all need to be doing the same thing to go to Kevin Hart Vegan Restaurant. Y'all need to be hitting up Wu-Tang trying to figure out what vegan stuff they got going on. Hit up to Kyrie Irving, see what he got going on, what he's serving. My phone is really going off. I'm getting alerts, text messages, calls. I was trying to get this message out. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up real quick because obviously people keep calling me. But I'm just here to tell you this. Be mindful of the foods that you eat. Be mindful of the the chemicals you put in your body. If you want to be happy, if you want to be the happiest version of yourself so you can get that man, so you can have your next Valentine's, so you could be, you know what I'm saying, out here with your boo, living life, do things that's going to make you happy. And one of the happiest things that you can do for your body is making sure that your body is the healthiest state, okay? Stop following everybody, going to all these celebrity chicken restaurants, these celebrity fried food restaurants. And if you want to go chase something, go chase these uh celebrities that's this this they got these vegan restaurants. Go chase these celebrities that got these health food brands. That's what you need to be following because they really caring about their community, even if it is for a dollar. At least they putting something in their community that's gonna make them be the best version of themselves and that's gonna help us to be the healthiest version of themselves, okay? So so I'm about to go handle my son call me, text me, all this. So I need to go handle this. But I just had to come in here and do my daily rant. So I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.